Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay. Let's get you over to El Greco. Okay. Witam, że znasz tym odcinku z Mafią 2. Udało nam się wydostać z tego budynku. Teraz pora wybrać się do El Greco, żeby pomóc Joe dojść do siebie. Gościu fajną furę tam zostawił. Czy coś jedzie? Nic nie jedzie, ok. Robimy cichy włam. Siadaj, Joe. Uh, my chest. Every time I breathe. I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. Listen, Vito. Uh, thanks for coming after me. Oh, wow. and, and almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stab you in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. Hmm, przede mną to policja. Muszę zwolnić. No, już niedługo, znaczy już znamy już premierę, datę y, premiery trzeciej części Mafii. Gdzie spotkamy również Wita jako postać poboczną. Nie będziemy mogli ją grać, ale sam fakt, że pojawi się Wito, no to fajna sprawa. Premiera w październiku 2016. Wiadomo, że Ciężko będzie oddać klimat taki mafijny. No w sumie jedynka jest najlepsza, jakby nie patrzeć. Dwójka... Mm, dwójka byłaby pewnie dorównałaby jedynce, gdyby nie... To, że skrzanili coś na końcu. No a trójka będzie to już całkiem inna bajka. Pewnie bez rewelacji, ale... Ale... Nie ma co narzekać. Ważne, że coś się dzieje. Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Uh, uh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could uh, be you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes. But you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito. Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. Okay, spłacimy Bruno.
To, co się dowiedziałem na temat Mafii 3, to trochę mi zabolało, że główny bohater, weteran wojny w Wietnamie chyba, będzie miał jedno auto na przywołanie i nie będzie takiego tradycyjnego garażu. Nawet takiego jak w dwójce. Najbardziej mi odpowiadał jednak garaż z jedynki, gdzie można było kolekcjonować te auta i wszystkie sobie wszystkie podziwiać. Natomiast w dwójce już to zrobili tak, że się po prostu przewi no, w dwójce to wiecie jak jest. Przebija się po prostu te samochody. Ale też no, nie wygląda to zbyt dobrze. Natomiast no, w trójce ma być w ogóle to już skaszenione na maksa no ale nie ma co z góry zakładać, że gra będzie zła po prostu będzie inna zaraz będzie nasz zjazd Wszędzie policja, wszędzie kręci się policja. Okay. Jest. to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Ah, uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife how to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> Your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. Okay. Rozdział 15. Pera spera ad astra. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad. And they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later. And then we were going to have Falcone after us, along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear, and the blood of my friends. 
I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. Okay. W ogóle to jest kalendarz. Czy to jest rok podany? Słabe te teksturki. Yeah, hello. Vito. Yeah, it's Eddie. Uh, listen, I need you to... Let me guess. You need me to come by right away, and I should bring a gun. For once I don't. <laughs> Carlo wants to see you over at the planetarium. Did he say what it was about? No. Uh, better head over there now, though. Uh, don't want to keep the man waiting. <laughs> yeah, see you, Vito. Okay. Carlo. Jak bym wyglądał w stroju bojowym? Nic nie widzę. Nie widzę siebie. No, a może, czemu by nie? No nie, trzeba elegancko przywitać się na śmierć. Marynarka i płaszcz i kapelusz. Pada deszcz. Mr. Scaletta, can you get in, please? Hey, old man, what are you doing back? Just get in the damn car. Now. And you are... This is our friend, Mr. Chu. All right, so what the hell's going on? What is this? This is about you. You fucked up good, didn't you? Started a fucking war. Got no idea what you're talking about. Don't fuck with me, boy. I probably forgotten more about this business than you'll ever learn. Half our guys are dead. Half of Mr. Chu's guys are dead. And now the feds are breathing down everybody's necks. Because of you. Leo, listen. You listen. If it wasn't for me, you would have already been taken care of. So you're gonna listen to what I have to say, and you're gonna listen good. What you did in Chinatown. That was because of that cocksucker Henry, right? You know who he was working for when he died? You mean when he was butchered? He was working for the feds. He was a fucking rat. And that's why Mr. Chu's people did what they did. And that's why the feds are going after Carlo now. But I don't forget my friends, Vito. You did for me, so I did for you. I called in a few favors. Got you one chance to make this right. Okay, I'm listening. You're gonna get rid of Carlo. Do us all a favor. And if I refuse? You die. Frank and the rest of the commission want you dead. So does Mr. Chu. And to top it all off, you vouched for a rat. You think Carlo's gonna let that slide? You're a dead man walking. <sighs> When? Now. Every minute we wait is another minute we give to the feds. He's holed up at that observatory of his. You know, something's up. Carlo Falcone is a lot of things, but stupid ain't one of them. All right. Stop the car. Remember, kid, this is your last chance. Okay. I'm going to beat Carlo Falcone. Tak sobie teraz pomyślałem o Henrym który był kretem w sumie byłoby fajnie zobaczyć o nim jakiś, jakąś mafię jak się właśnie Jak właśnie donosi, nie? To byłoby fajne. Nikt o tym nie pomyślał. No w sumie... No to tak, gra była niedokończona, więc nikt nie myślał o tym, ale... Gdyby wszystko poszło dobrze, 
mielibyśmy pełną grę, to pewnie może by przyszedł taki pomysł im do głowy. Byłby jakiś DLC o Henry. Mocno pada. Ojej, oj. Prawie uderzyłem w lampę. No i gdzie się kobietów pychasz? Jeszcze światła mi się. Dobra, już prawie dojeżdżam. W tej grze nie widać te, tego hajsu, bo... Hmm, w jedynce chyba bardziej to było zauważalne, że oni byli bogaczami, jako mafia. A tutaj to jest takie wszystko biedne trochę. Dobra, jesteśmy na miejscu. Czy ja mam w ogóle broń? Mam, mam, mam nawet sporo. Dobra. Hmm. Pora się zabawić. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito. The boss wants to see you. Good. I want to see him, too. One, uh, one thing, though, Vito. I gotta take your gun. Yeah, all right. Here you go. No. One action. Okay. Powoli, ostrożnie. Tu nie... Tu nie ma miejsca na przypadek. Gdzie on jest? Dobra, zrobimy to tak. Granat. Nie ma czasu tutaj na szczegadanie. Trzeba to zrobić szybko. Kurczę, myślałem, że jestem osłonięty. Muszę odczekać trochę, bo nie jest dobrze. Ja 
Jeszcze słyszę jednego. Dobra. Dobra, headshot. I tam są. Spadasz. A, on to był u góry. To musiało boleć. Czy jest tu jakiś gościu? Fuck you, Skoera! Fuck you! Dobra, schowam się tu. To nie jest bezpieczne miejsce. Słyszę go. Zastanawiam się, czy jeszcze jeden jest. Czy tylko tych dwóch? Czekam chwilę. O, cała instalacja się rusza. No dobra, muszę iść chyba. Kurczę. Jest tu. Dobra. Muszę iść do tego teleskopu. Tak, by co to tu jest Playboy? Dobra, magazynek pełny. Pełen.
Ciekawe, czy ktoś jeszcze jest. Raczej już by tu przyszedł, nie? Rodzaje tych, tych broni. Wow. Strzelby z takiej odległości Chybiony pomysł Bez karabinu też w sumie Bochadło Chodź tu, chodź. Nie żyje. Nie miał biletu po prostu. Hmm. Zgubiłem się przez chwilę. Ok, rozumiem, że muszę tu wejść. Wow, look who it is. This is where they send? This is an insult. What they tell you, Vito? Take care of me and all's forgiven? You really think they're just gonna let you walk after everything you did? Then again, chumps like you never do think about the big picture. But your buddy Joe understands, don't you, Joe? What the fuck is this? I could ask you the same question. Loyalty's a funny thing, huh, Vito? No such thing as friendship in this business. Didn't your old pal Leo teach you that while you're sucking his cock back in the can? <laughs> you're just a fucking pawn, Vito. It's all you ever were. When are you gonna realize Joe, that? Joe, you just gotta trust me. You think I give a shit about the feds? All those tired old fucks on the commission? They're using you, Vito. Just like Clemente used you. Just like I used you. Just like that rat fuck Henry used you. You vouched for that piece of shit. Brought him into my house. And now, you dumb fuck, you're gonna pay for it. Now, Joe. Hey. If you're gonna pull that trigger, do it already. What are you waiting for? Vito. Let's shoot this cocksucker. Remember what we talked On about, three. Joe? You're gonna throw One. all that away? Do it! Two. 
Okej. To było dobre. Somebody kill these two psychos. You dumb bastard, you don't stand a chance. You can't kill them all. Stay strong, the big man. You really are insane, right, aren't you? There's only two of them. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. Kurczę. Teraz zginę. Okay, udało się. You know something, Carlo? For the last ten years, all I done was kill. I killed for my country. I killed for my family. I killed anybody that got in my way. But this one, this one's for me. Fuck you, fucking prick. I sure as hell hope you know what you're doing here. Don't worry, I took care of it. You'll see. So, uh, what was he talking about back there? Nothing. He made me an offer. That's all. Yeah, I figured out that much. What kind of offer? He wanted me to whack it. Said he'd make me a capo. Give me my own crew. You know, pretty much everything I ever wanted. Yeah? So why the hell didn't you do it? Remember that five bucks you owe me? Dobra, wracamy. Ciekawe, czy jeszcze... Czemu on nie może biegać? Czy to taka poważna instytucja? Obserwatorium? Saturn? Dobra. Dobra, gdzie jest wyjście? Trzeba lepiej być przygotowanym, bo się jeszcze coś może wydarzyć. Jaki ładny gajer. Joe, skąd masz taki fajny gajer? No i co dalej? Aha, tędy. No i można było tak od razu wejść tędy. What the hell is this? It's all right, Joe. Is it done? It's done. All right then. Looks like a celebration is in order. Come on, let's head to the cat house. Sounds good to me. Come with me, Vito. There's more we need to talk about. All right, we'll see you over there. All right. So what's the big secret? Hey, hey, what the hell's going on? Where they taking Joe? Sorry, kid. Joe wasn't part of our deal. Nie jest przemtany, Joe. Skoro nie był częścią umowy, to znaczy, że go zabili. No chyba, że mu się udało. To byłoby fajne. No i zaciemnienie to znaczy, że chyba koniec. Odblokowano twardy orzech. Okej, okay. to na tyle. To był ostatni odcinek z Mafią 2. Mógłbym w sumie jeszcze rozegrać jakieś dodatki, ale na razie nic nie obiecuję. Natomiast na pewno spotkamy się w Mafii 3.
Już październiku. Mam nadzieję, że dotrzymają terminu. Cześć.